And we're joined by former editor of the Daily Star, Dawn Neeson, and author and broadcaster, Amy Nicole Turner, in the studio, which is a very apt lineup on International Women's Day. Surrounded Go by lovely off. ladies. Um, you can identify, Ben, that's fine. Only at weekends, we, We'll Dawn. accept you. It's only, nearly a weekend, it's only Friday. Only weekends, Come on. Ben Jemima comes out in Soho. Um, that actually suits you. What, Ben Jemima? Ben Jemima yeah. mm-hmm. I could probably pass for it. <laughs> I'd rather not, though. I Do we need it, though? Do we need International Women's Day, ladies? Don't. We shouldn't do. We shouldn't need International Women's Day because all women should support one another all the time. The fact that we are expected to make a big deal of it on one particular day, I find a bit disturbing still. Mm. However, when we're living in an era where women's rights, I feel, Bev, are being spun backwards really fast, I feel like... By who? uh, By men, mostly, and trans women. um, I feel like now... I am being told to sit down and shut up more than I was working as a young female journalist on a male-dominated newspaper back in the 80s. Do you really? But who's... Yes, I do. So when you say you're being told to shut up, you mean you're being told... Not literally. ...that your rights are somehow less important than certain other minority groups? Yes, I, I think female rights now have become almost like a game of trumps. My rights out trump yours. Everyone has rights. Everyone has human rights. Trans women have rights. Women have rights. No one's rights are greater than the other. But I feel now we are locked into, considering trans women want to be women, think they're women, are locked into this battle of of, of sisterhood. And Mm. it shouldn't be that way. No. Amy? I do agree with Dawn. Oh, steady on, Amy. Why does it take one day? It should be International Women's Day every day. And the fact that we still have to have International Women's Day surely suggests that the inequality is still there. And, of course, the statistics do back that up because it remains the fact that women can expect to earn 15% less than men. Um, I think all the time about the medical misogyny that I see regularly, that women's health conditions don't have the research, just because they didn't bother, because they only started researching reproductive things since about 1990, because mm. it was all the male stuff. I think about when I got in the car today and I put my seatbelt on and I have the knowledge that that seatbelt was designed for a man's body and not a woman's body. Really? E- yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Even everything is designed is it Caroline around Pierre? What's, what's the, name of the writer who drew real attention to that? Pierre, Caroline Perez. Yeah, it, yeah, there's a book on medical misogyny. That's and, right. um, and the whole way, the whole world is kind of built around men. Even the fact that when you take a paracetamol, it takes into um, it takes into account the average male body weight rather than women's mm. when it says the suggested dose. Also, they like, do that with calories, like that. Well, I think. But yeah, they do. They do. Well, they let, do let, let me pick you up on a point that Dawn mentioned about um, women's rights being eroded by certain groups, including trans women who you are a big supporter of, you are happy with trans women being in women's toilets, playing in, in yeah, women's sports. So, I mean, you can't have it both ways. You can't say women's rights are being eroded, yet I support I can't, men I can't, playing in biological sport. I can't see um, any evidence of um, trans women eroding women's rights, but what I can see a lot of evidence is of, is, is of trans women's rights being eroded by women. I see that a lot. Amy, and- how can you say that about sport? I can give you just one example but- of sport. Leah Thomas, the male-born female, mm. uh, male-born swimmer swimming in women's races. That is a cast iron But Leah example. Thomas was playing in America in a college-level team and the following year, she was beaten by a cis woman. So it's not really oh, cis, 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 cis women. You know what? We're the just thing, women. The thing that I find funny is People only care that tra- when trans women play sports when they win. So it's the principle, oh, no, they can play, the but safe- they can't win. Amy, sorry, it's the, safe- <laughs> it's the safety aspect of it as well. How many videos and clips have we seen online of biological men playing women's sports, playing rugby, manhandling them, throwing them around? You wouldn't have a... a- I haven't seen that many. Oh, it there does was happen. A- yeah, there was I- a I've seen it a lot of... But my son plays contact rugby, and I found that terrifying. Mm. That's got nothing to do with the gender well, Imagine the kids you as a play woman with. playing against rugby against a biological man. I can't imagine you can't myself Playing rugby, I have to say. <laughs> but, you could, but, but you see, it, it it does happen, and I think when you say, well, it only matters if it, if they win. That's only when people are incensed. Yeah, because sport is about winning. But they so rarely really, win. Really matters. They if a rarely, woman is rarely by a, win. A Do you know male how the vanishingly being? small numbers of trans women who are even in sport? Because actually, they're very unlikely. Because of conversations like this, if you were a trans woman living in the UK now, would you want to go get into sport? Good. You, you've I'd got like people. To do sport, you've got people playing like park run. You know, people going along to park run to try and have a have a fun 
day. And now people are saying, oh, trans women because, shouldn't be allowed to that. So if you were a trans woman living in the UK now, would you feel welcome I mean, anywhere? You, you talk about parkrun, but that's a fine example. The record holder in Aberystwyth, for example, in, in Wales, is a biological man who absolutely exceeds any records held by women. But it's and not you know a what competitive. Did? It's not a competitive Do you know what parkrun did? They, they deleted all their records and said, look, we're going we're gonna to appease to this, this cheating, because that's what it is, by biological men, and we're going to scrap all records. I feel, really like you don't, I feel like you've never been to a park run. Because it's not, about, it's not competitive. Have, it's Amy, innately I've, not competitive. I've played, I've played a lot of sport. I play probably more sport and I'm into more fitness than probably most people. And I understand the innate biology of biological men. It's not just about reducing... I have a question then. Hang on a second. You... Hang on one second. It's not just about reducing testosterone once someone's gone through male puberty. They have more muscle mass. They have more lung capacity, bigger bone density. And that stays with them for life. I know life. all the arguments, but and then... I just find, what, okay, it, I find but... it ironic that you're here saying women's rights are being eroded, yet you are... I don't say they've been you... eroded. I say they're stagnated. But you're, stagnated. You're, you're happy to... They're not to, progressing as much as they could destroy. against men. And also, can I just put to you, Casta Semenye, I always think of this example. Do you remember Casta Semenye? Yeah, yeah. The she's yeah. intersex. Yes, and she has the bone density and the lung capacity and all the things that are leveled. That's fine, because but, she, she but wasn't a biological man. But hang on a minute. How the, the, the makeup, the complexity of biology and human experience and condition can be in the form of someone like Casta Semenye. So why are you willing to accept Fine. her natural advantage? She's a rare example. My, uh, Michael Phelps, massive wingspan, alien wingspan, some would say. And he's a man and competes in the male unfair? races. Is that unfair? No, because he was born a man. Because he was racing against men. And trans people are born... Trans. He wasn't racing against against weaker, feebler women. He was racing against yeah. weaker, feebler men who could never have his wingspan. So if your argument is that um, this whole biological difference... While, while we're on this issue, can we have a look at a little a clip, actually? This is um, Labour's Angela Eagle, because we're talking oh, about yeah. this from the perspective of a Conservative Party backdrop, Conservative government. So we often think, how would this issue play out under Labour? Well, we've got a little bit of an insight now as to what that might look like. Here you go. Here's Angela Eagle. I will also strengthen the law so anti-LGBT plus hate crimes are treated as aggravated offences, um, which is a, a, and there'll be a much needed modernising of gender recognition processes, which are um, humiliating. Uh, and so effectively, Dawn, what Angela Eagle is saying is that trans rights are going to be further consolidated and further empowering to people. In, under a, a Labour government? Look, everybody has rights, right? Trans people should have rights, women should have rights, even men should have rights, and that hurts, believe me. <laughs> Thank you, but girl. even, not you, I didn't say you specifically, <laughs> um, but even men should have rights. It, no one's, as I kept saying, no one's rights trumps. I didn't really understand what Angela was saying there. There's a lot Sorry, of words. Sorry, a little brief. No, 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 there's a lot of words she used. None of it really made much sense, to be honest with you. I'm slightly disappointed because I, I feel that she should be more pro women. As I said, it's well, one of the things that she was saying there is that uh, gender ch transitioning should be made easier and less it's humiliating. About, it's about people. the gender recognition certificate, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And actually, this originated with who we're talking about a lot today, Theresa May. Theresa May thought this would be her gay marriage, her equal marriage moment, and she could be seen as a progressive politician with this whole trans rights progression. However, then it got started to use, be used as a, the political football that we see it as used today. All the gender recognition recognition certificate does is mean that your birth certificate, your marriage certificate and your death certificate will align with the gender in which you lived your life. And if it was open to abuse, that's also acknowledged. And if they'd be found to use um, fraudulently, then that can be that's taken into consideration. Um, and in the example of Spain, the GRC would be removed. So if you went to try to get a GRC, which is of, often the argument, you know, oh, a man could walk in and just say he's a woman. That's fraud. So that wouldn't work. And in Ireland, in Spain, they have this and it works very, very well. But it's interesting that you use the word fraud because for me, so much of what we are being asked to do, and I can separate, I think, that no one wants to be unkind to an individual trans person. No. I don't want to see a world in which, as you say, trans people can't freely walk down the street no. and live their lives because the vast majority just want to live a quiet life and get on just, with it. We always just get like on it. with it, yes. Mm. Um, but being asked, if I am asked to look at a, a man born a male in a dress and say that is a woman, you're asking me to lie. I think we're imagining such different things, aren't we? Like, I'm picturing Brianna Guy. I'm picturing Sean Fay. Um, I'm picturing India Willoughby. Um, well, in India Willoughby is now threatening to go to the police but when because you, J.K. Rowling called but him a man. when you see her, do you honestly, in your heart, 
ever think man. Because I, I don't believe woman, it. I see a trans woman. I don't, th- I don't think that even matters. Really see India woman. Willoughby is so, asked... And that's a simple... No, it's a trans woman. There's a difference. It's a trans woman and a woman. That's it. There's no cis women, by the way. We're women. But okay, that's it. But it's just a prefix, isn't it? We're blonde women, brown-haired women, broadcasting women, pretty women. But I see it so different. Amy, I, I think you're missing the point by saying, does this person look like a real woman? That's not the thing here. Everything about her is a woman. The problem with India and J.K. Rowling is... India Willoughby is threatening to censor the free speech and the biological reality and facts of human but life by fact, going to the police it's because she called him a man. Nothing to do with if the appearance. If you look at India's passport, there's an F. Every fibre of India's being is Well, now it isn't every fibre of her being. That's what's interesting. No. Professor, Winston Marshall, uh, Professor Robert Winston sorry, very famously said, your biological sex is identifiable in every single cell in your but body. That quote has been... It's been criticised. It's been... Um, Chromosomally. You can't but change your chromosomes. I'm not sure oh. this argument gets us anywhere because India should never in a million years be treated as a male or called such. I would treat her as a trans it's, woman. It's, 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 it's a trans trans woman. But it, but it now. Is, what J.K. Rowling said is undeniably derogatory. And what, it was calling, intended... Calling them a man? In, you know, ben, you know that that's intended to be derogatory. You just know it. Well, sorry, but India's got form himself yeah, or being abusive and doing, why, doing the same why allow people. yourself to say himself why do that because India Willoughby is a biological man and I, I'm within my rights to say you, you see, are a man I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie Amy, I'm not going to lie to myself that to me, and distort my reality is, to make is, other people hateful, feel better really hateful facts over we feelings we do sorry. so many things to make people feel better all the time I support trans rights I want people to live in a happy loving accepting uh, you know, equal world you're a world, person when I came world, in but, you said you like this top even though it's covered in cat hair you know Right. You're a kind person. But you I'm, say I'm, lies to make people feel better. But no. I'm not going to distort my own reality to make someone feel better. That's not Sorry. your reality. You're, you're telling yourself a new reality to make yourself feel um, to feel right in your argument. Right. So much of this is about language. And yes, for me, Andy indeed. Willoughby is a trans woman, and it's those five letters fine. that Absolutely really fine. matter Absolutely. because that yep. matters completely to all of us yep. because of the biology and because of your first point about medical testing. If we start including trans women in the medical testing, we are still losing because There's we so are few. physiologically so, so different. Few. Okay, fascinating. Right. Amy Nicole, Dawn, Leeson, <laughs> thank you very much. Let's